Here we have four men and four women. We want to make sure that no two men stand next to each other. And to do that, we are going to make use of what we have on the Achievers TV. Under permutations and combination, we have the slotting method in the theory outline. And we're going to make use of that to make sure that the men are always separated. To do that, let's try to arrange the four women first. So we have woman, 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 woman. Arranging them, it is going to be four factorial. And I'm going to work on the spaces in between the woman and at the two ends here and here. There are five of them. So for these five possible spaces, we will choose four for the four men. Because once the four men occupy any of the five spaces here, they will always be separated from each other. And for these four spaces, we will arrange the four men. So multiply by four factorial and this should give us our answer 2880. Now these eight people are going to be arranged in a circle such that the men are always going to be standing beside the wife. So for this circle, we will make sure that the men stand beside the wife. So I will form one group for this. This man stand beside his wife. So one group, man beside the wife. So another group, we have four couples. So man, wife, he forms the fourth group. And seeing this with one, two, three, four groups, we will do a circular permutation. So four minus one factorial. And within this group, the man and woman, they can swap positions. So it is going to be a two factorial. Here is also another two factorial multiplied by another two factorial and another two factorial. So we will either multiply this four times or it is basically just this to the power of four. And this will give us a 96. Eight people and we want to have two teams of four people each. So out of eight, we will choose four to form the first team. And then out of four, we will choose four to form the second team. But because there's no difference between the two teams, we will divide this by two factorial. And the question also mentioned that neither of the team should consist of only men or only women. And how many possible ways can this be? There's just one way because it will be just one team with all men, one team with all women. So there's just one such team. So we will minus away that one kind of team. So this is going to be equal to 34. 